Hi guys, it's Keith with Arkhamburg Farms. It's beginning of the third week of February 2020. I'm getting ready to plant some lettuce out. I'll be doing some greenhouse work today. Show you a couple other things going on in the farm. So here we go. Got my beds prepped. Got the one behind me here and the one far over there. Had to uh, wet them down. Oh, it took two or three times, just a light watering. But now we got nice, friable soil. As you can see, I can get my finger down in it now. Get it down about far enough to plant in. It's still just a little dry. Probably have to do another, another application. Like I said, I'm not going to be planting until tomorrow. Got my ladybugs here, a whole bag of them, getting ready to uh, release those out here in the greenhouse to uh, help knock out some of the aphid pressure. Got the sides open, but I don't think I should have to worry about them flying away too much. So let's start releasing some of the ladybugs here. These ladybugs wake up fast. Had them stored in the refrigerator. See, they're already coming out the top. For a couple days now, waiting for the nighttime temperatures to warm up a little bit. As you can see, the whole entire bag starting to move. I'm just going to go around, just sprinkle a few out here and there. Just kind of get them all throughout the lettuce here. Hopefully, this will take care of any aphid problems that I've had over here in this high tunnel. Go and do the kale as well. Just hundreds of these little things in the bags. Little monsters will do their job and eat and eat and eat all of the aphids. I'm going to keep spreading. Now that I got that done, I'll show you what happened to the side curtain when it tried to raise covered with snow the other day. I just kicked the uh, thermostat up a little bit. So it's starting to lower here. Take you outside and show what happened. It uh, opened up when it was covered with snow. And it did quite a number to it. It torqued it real bad around it. So I'm going to have to fix that. So earlier this week we had snow and in the process the snow built up the side of the greenhouse as it shed and apparently the roll-up curtain tried to go and as you can see right there at the end it twisted it twisted and now is where the joints are in it it tore the plastic a little bit right here as it twisted there what happened was, is that when it tried to torque up, the snow was on the edge of it, and the joints in the pipe, it's right about there. I don't have a screw in between the two connecting the pipes together. So the only thing connecting these two pipes together, down here on the bottom, is this screw and this screw. So in turn, it bent it. Did the same thing down here, where it took it around almost a full quarter turn to the back because that joint's right about there. And again, no screw. So, you know, another thing I gotta fix today. Now the plan here is going to be to catch this as it's going down and get it to untwist itself because it twisted itself when it was going up.
That worked pretty good. I just got to get the very end chunk. Well, it turns out when you bend this stuff, it's not that easy to bend back. So instead I took the screw out, the pipe in's right in here somewhere, just turned the pipe back to where it's supposed to be, and then just re-screwed it on there. Looks a little funny, but that'll give me the right setting. Had to do the same thing down here. I was able to get this one fairly straight. I still got a little bit of unevenness. I'm going to have to put some tape over that. Kind of help it hold a little better. But for now I need to get plant starts out and water the area they're going to be planting one more time to get it ready to plant tomorrow. I'm going to go all my lettuce starts back out that were hiding in the pack house. That one got a little dry, but it'll pop back. So I've got leaf, leaf, leaf for solid mix, and then I got a mix of head lettuce added over from last year. Lightly watered down all the beds again. And I'll just about do it for today. Hope you all like what you saw here today and thought it was useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget, I'll be speaking at Mother Earth News Fair this year. There's a link in the uh, show notes below and a coupon code to save 10%. Make sure you use the uh, link if you're going. That way they contribute money to the farm for me speaking there. So thank you all. Have a good day.